Here is the publicity folder for a brand new series which is going to appear on Roustabout next. And it's called The Kid. And it's great pleasure to welcome onto our tea break today the star of The Kid. His name's Steve Fairney, not fairly as I was right. saying earlier on. I'm very sorry about that, Steve. That's all right. And it's fantastic to have the star of a new series on the programme now because you can tell us a bit about it, can't you? First of all, what are we going to expect? What are we, what are we looking forward to here? It's quite an unusual programme. I don't think it's been done before. It's, it's almost like reading a comic, you know, the dandy and the beano and that sort of thing. It's like that, but using real people. We use lots of um, video effects and it's silent comedy. Silent comedy. Silent comedy. Yeah, it's, it's not mime as such. It's kind of silly movements more than mime. So there's none of this sort of... No speaking, but, but presumably music and sound effects, aren't huh? We have music. The music was done by two guys who were in a band called Sailor. Um, Henry Marsh and George Kajanis. Brilliant. The music's fantastic. Very, very sort of contemporary. Right. And um, they wrote that after the... Um, after we shot them. After yeah. you shot them, they sat back and watched them and then came yeah. up with the music. And are there sound effects as well, or...? You Lots of them. very, very funny sound effects, yeah. I mean, that's, that's very much part of it. Um, very silly noises. And they're stories, basically, are they? Little stories. They, again, you don't laugh at uh, the whole of the programme. There's just little bits of burst that are funny, but, but there are storylines. One where the kid comes home late one night and um, he gets into lots of trouble. You are the kid? <laughs> I'm the kid, yeah. The kid, obviously, is the central character, appears in all of them. Are there other constant characters who appear in all of them. Do we get to know the kids' family? I think so. It'll take a little time to get used to. Once you've seen two, you get the idea. We have a fat man in it, um, and he chases the little girl that I'm fond of. She's called Nikki, Nikki Brooks. And there's Debbie, who is the fat man's girlfriend. So there's lots of interplay. There's four of us, fat man, girl, and little girl, who I like. Do you get involved with the outside world, or is it really the relationships of those four people that, that, that the series is all about? Or do you, I mean, where do you go? Where do we see you? Um, various places. It can be in a field, or in a garage, or in a laundrette. Very real situations. And the kid has a little pink bubble car that he drives around in. It's a <laughs> very lovely car. Um, <laughs> In real situations, but he can make magical things happen around him. He doesn't go out of his way to do it, but things happen around him, magical moments. It's an interesting idea, Steve, because mm. um, we don't get much stuff these days that's made without, um, without uh, speech in it. Right. I mean, obviously, you, you liked all the very early films that were made, did you? The, the, the Charlie Chaplin's, Buster Keaton's and all those? That's how, how the whole thing evolved, basically. I went down to a competition in London for Charlie Chaplin lookalike. And uh, I won the contest. There were 20 Charlie Chaplin lookalikes there. And I think it was judged by Rowan Atkinson and um, Paul Daniels. And I won that, and it, and it kind of went on from there. Um, so I did some stuff with Ty T's television, The Chew. Yeah. And then I met up the director of this programme, David Rose and we constructed a new silent comic. I mean, obviously, I like things like Chaplin, Buster Keaton, and Jacques Tati. I don't know if you've seen any yes. of this stuff. Marvelous yes, stuff. yes. And now you've let the moustache grow across a little bit. It's I mean, gone out, yeah. yes, yes. And you developed your own particular character. Yeah, the so kid... You don't, I mean, he's not now... He's not Charlie Chaplin, is he? Is no, that? not at all. He's, there's elements of Chaplin there. There's a bit of Jacques Tati and 80% just me being me, really. And when people... When we all watch you in a moment or two, mm. your hair's not going to be quite the same. It's bright red, this little bit here, but um, we're going into a second series, so I'm just having a break from having this bright red thing at the front, because going down the street at this point in time, it's a little bit... Um, people come up to you and say, what's this all about? Good, so we're going to get another series after mm. this one. How many in the first series? I can't remember. We've done 13, and there is talk at the moment of vast amounts of them coming out, so you may have the kid every week for the next 20 years. Well, <laughs> we're looking forward to it. We've certainly got uh, the kid every week for the next 13, and I think it's... I can't introduce the kid. I'm going to let the star of the show introduce the kid. Into that camera, please, right. Steve. Right. Just uh, a little introduction of your new series, please. Right. This is the kid. It's a completely new programme. I hope you like watching it. It's similar to reading a comic, so here we go, the kid. The kid. The kid. The kid.